Hello and welcome to my mathematics lesson for SAT preparation. We are here. We are ready to start our lesson. Yes, in this lesson, our topic is coordinate geometry. Okay, I'm starting. Have a nice lesson. SAT preparation analytic geometry coordinate geometry coordinate geometry coordinate geometry I will show all of tricks of coordinate geometry Yes, first of all, uh, we know that we know that points have two pairs. Okay, coordinate geometry. Yeah, um, we have one point and it has two pairs, X and Y. Yeah. <clears throat> x this is x and this is y yeah uh, what's collinear collinear linear collinear collinear what's it collinear points uh, two points on the same line two points on the same line okay two points on the same line on the same line are called collinear uh, points okay if they are on the same line they are collinear a and b is collinear Yes. And then continuing. Uh, what is the distance between two points? Distance between two points, okay? What's the distance between two points in analytic geometry or coordinate geometry? distance between two points yeah uh, a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 given and then and then what's the distance between them yeah x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square square root this is the distance between two points this is the distance between two points for example for example uh, example example look at example a minus 2 7 a minus 2 7 and b uh, 4 6 4 6 yeah 4 6 what is the distance between two points a and b let me look yeah uh, the distance between minus 2 and 4 think about this the distance between minus 2 and 4 uh, it's 6 it's 6 and the distance between 7 and 6 so it's 1 it's 1 and the distance distance between two points we can do Pythagorean theorem 
It's square root 37. Square root 37. Yeah, it's square root 37. Okay. Another example. Another example. For example, A minus 4, 2, B, 6, T. Okay. The distance between them, the distance between them, 2 times square root 34. 2 times square root 34. And then, what's the value of T? What's the value of T? What is the value of T? Value of T. Let me look. Let me look. Hmm. Yeah. 2 times 30 square root 34. Square root minus 4, 6, the distance 10. 10 square plus t minus 2 square t minus 2 square yeah 4 squared times 34 is equal to 100 plus t minus 2 square yeah 34 times 4 mm, 136 136 so so t minus 2 square is 36 t minus 2 is equal to 6 or T minus 2 equals to minus 6. T is equal to 8. Or T can be minus 4. Two values we find for T. T can be 8. And T uh, can be, T can be uh, minus 4. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. It can be minus 4. And what's midpoint? What's midpoint? What's midpoint? Midpoint is the distance midpoint and a equals to the distance between m and b the distance between m and a is equal to the distance between b and m so if it's x1 y1 x2 y2 so midpoint is x1 plus x2 over 2 y1 plus y2 over 2 yeah example example is a 513 a 513 b minus 6 minus 4 what is the midpoint of these points yeah 5 plus minus 6 minus 1 over 2 uh, 13 plus minus 4 9 over 2 yeah uh, minus 0 0.5 and 4.5 can be yeah we have another example 
if the midpoint if the midpoint of a and b is s minus 1 comma 3 and a a 3 b 5 b what are the values what are the values of what are the values what are the values of a and b okay how can we find this uh, midpoint minus one so a plus five is a plus five over two is equal to minus one b plus b plus three over two b plus three uh, over two is equals to two minus two a minus seven you can find this and uh, b is equal to three b must be three minus seven three and what is slope what is slope slope of a b slope of a b what is slope the line passing through points a and b what is the slope of this line what's the slope of this line the slope the slope is change in y axis change in change in x axis change in y axis and change in x axis a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 so change in y axis y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 the slope is change in y axis over change in x yes we can define as this yeah okay slope is this lines for example uh, for example lines if they are parallel parallel lines parallel lines have same slopes yeah parallel lines parallel lines have same slopes slope one slope one equals to equals to slope two if they are parallel if they are parallel lines parallel parallel lines uh, their slopes are equal if they are perpendicular lines perpendicular 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 lines and then and then their multiplication uh, the product the product of the slopes must be equal to the product of the slopes must be equal to minus one if they are perpendicular if they are perpendicular and then and then slope one times slope two is equals to minus one the product of the slopes must be equal to minus one if they are perpendicular okay yeah and then uh, we have some examples let me show you let me show you these examples 
for example, uh, AB, AB is parallel, PQ, okay, A is 5 minus 3, and B, 7, 2, B, 7, 2, and uh, what is the slope of the slope of PQ? Okay, slope of PQ. Yeah, if they are parallel, find the slope of PQ. Yeah, if they are parallel, their slopes must be equal. Changes change in y-axis over change in x-axis okay 2 minus <coughs> excuse me 2 minus minus 3 over 7 minus 5 it must be 5 over 2 okay it must be 5 over 2 and other example is for example, AB line, perpendicular, PQ line, okay. And then A37, 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 B minus 2, 2, and P, uh, P, P6. And Q four minus three. And then what is the value of P? What is the value of P? What is the value of P? Okay. Let me look this. If they are perpendicular, there's uh, the product of their slopes must be minus one. Yeah. Slope of AB, slope of AB. What's it? Slope of AB uh, seven minus minus two over three minus minus two. It's five over five, and it's equal to one. So other slope must be minus one. Why? Because their product, their product must be equal to minus one. So one times what equal to minus one? Slope of PQ must be minus one. Okay, if it's one, their product minus one. So this must be minus one. Try six minus minus three over uh, p minus four nine it must be minus nine so if they are equal p minus five the answer is p is equals to p is equals to minus five okay yeah yes uh, that's okay for SAT 1 and then we can look now our exercise questions okay are you ready yeah we can look our exercise questions okay and uh, let me look. Yeah. 
the first one. I'm sharing the first one, yes. Okay. Okay. The first one is uh, our first question. Let me look our first question, okay? Here. Use the graph below. Use the graph below. Uh, OB is twice as long as OA. What's the length of OB? Yeah. First, look at here. Okay. Uh, OB is twice as long as OA. Okay. First, first find the distance between O and A. Three, four. Three, four. Three, four and one, one. Three, four, one, one. Three, four. One one two square plus three square square root thirteen square root thirteen and then <coughs> OB is twice as long as OA so two square root thirteen the answer is 2 square root 13, okay? Yes. 2 square root 13. The yes, second question, second question is here. Uh, points 6, 4 and Q, 4, 3. P minus 2, B are collinear. What's the value of B? Okay. Mm. If they are collinear, Slope, slope, slope RQ must be slope PQ, slope PQ. So uh, four minus three, six minus four must be equals to uh, 3 minus b 4 minus minus 2 yes. 2 6 3 times it must be 3 times so b is 0 b must be 0 and third question a b c are collinear AC equals to BC and they are collinear. Hmm. If AC is equals to BC and then C is the midpoint. C is the midpoint of A and B. So minus 2 plus 2 over 2 and 3 plus minus 4 over 2. So 0 minus 1 over 2 is A. And fourth question, fourth question, yeah. Let me look fourth question. Uh, the question LN, LN is four times length of LM. LN LN is four times four times LM. And then how long LM? Yeah. 
if four times lm is one x and then this must be four x so this is three x yeah and then minus four two minus four two distance six six squash four minus two six squash square root it's six square root two but it's three x equals to three x so x is two square root two two square root two it must be five uh, 2.5 is the midpoint of x y with x minus one four minus four one and y is a four what is the value of a five two point five is the midpoint so so five is equals to a minus four over two so this is 14 yeah and then let m x y midpoint of a b three seven and minus one three what's the product of x and y yes three plus minus one two two over two one three plus seven over two five what is the product of them one times five is five and pq parallel to x y which of the following are possible coordinates of y yeah their slopes if they are parallel their slopes must be equal so so what's the slope of pq yes six minus three over minus three minus four okay uh, three over minus seven it must be so mm, this is x we know x but we don't know why we know x what we don't know why it's i think minus 11 it must be minus 11 why because minus 11 minus minus 5 what's it minus 6 and this must be 14 this must be 14 so 12 minus minus 2 so 12 12 minus 11 12 minus 11 i think 12 minus 11 yeah the first question is about uh, the distance between two points and second one is uh, a, is about second question is related with uh, the slopes parallel lines on the same line if two points on the same line they they are called colon linear so prq uh, are collinear so slope of rq must be equal to slope pq and third question is related with uh, which topic collinear uh, they are collinear and midpoint it's related with midpoint question and distance question and uh, uh, midpoint question midpoint question yeah uh, these are our topics Thank you for listening to me uh, for SAT preparation. Uh, we did this lesson. If you like our lesson, you can sub subscribe uh, our channel.
Thank you for everything. I love you much.